हेलो एवरी वन वी हैव दिस मिस्टर वेद प्रकाश डुडेजा वाइस चेयरमैन रेल एंड डेवलपमेंट अथॉरिटी हु हैज प्रेजेंटेड हिज प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन ट्रांसफॉर्मेटिव जर्नी मॉडर्नाइजिंग रेलवे स्टेशन थ्रू सस्टेनेबल एंड इनोवेटिव रीडेवलपमेंट ऑन इनो मेट्रो डे वन हेलो सर हाउ हैज यूर एक्सपीरियंस बीन सो फार एट इनो मेट्रो ट्वेंटी इट्स एक्सेलेंट एक्सपीरियंस इन फैक्ट इंटरेक्शन विद द इंडस्ट्री एंड इंटरेक्शन विद द present day uh, engineers and architects and uh, the technology partners it's always uh, always a welcome uh, for us uh, when uh, we we uh, look for solutions we always remember these interactions and we uh, always look for these people and these industries to uh, solve our our issues which we face during our planning as well as for our execution so uh, please give us some insights into your presentation as to what did you talk about additionally what is the entire objective of this uh, topic actually uh, the main focus uh, of my presentation was on the kind of challenges uh, which we are facing which we have faced during uh, this period of uh, construction because stations are brownfield uh, projects where uh, passengers are uh, there uh, and trains are there and uh, uh, with those constraints you have to uh, develop the stations and uh, these uh, kind of uh, uh, brownfield projects they need some innovative solutions uh, which uh, which we have to Uh, evolve over a period of time as we progress in uh, in, in the uh, actual construction stage of these projects so uh, right now uh, we have uh, we are uh, now handling like 15 stations are being uh, constructed by rlda so uh, the kind of challenges which we have faced like space constraint is there we don't have any space to co- stack our materials near the stations we don't have uh, uh, space to Uh, to uh, locate our offices so we have to shift the uh, existing offices utility shifting is very important aspect of this entire uh, gamut of station development and then uh, the the, uh, the solutions to the space constraint lies in like uh, pre engineered and pre fabricated structures and modular uh, technology will will come very handy when we want to go on a large scale in to station development so that we don't have to redesign the things again and again and we can uh, replicate the design which we have once uh, once uh, approved so uh, that will be the uh, step which we are now right now working on it that we have already started modular construction in chandigarh which we intend to replicate across the country as we uh, go for, uh, forward into this uh, project sure sir. looking at the uh, indian government continuously pushing for modernization of indian railways as well as uh, let's say uh, yeah the modernization of indian railways and through the, uh, the particular of uh, amrit bharat station scheme that the, the entire development that was initiated a few we- few years back how do you look at the prospects of rld as a business venture in in the midst of all this yeah you see rlda uh, has been playing very very important uh, role in the uh, amrit bharat station scheme and uh, uh, there are other areas of development which are uh, in the pipeline uh, like uh, the colonies which are very very old and uh, quite uh, quite uh, in a very very i think dilapidated uh, condition uh, they are about century old 100 years old and all these colonies need redevelopment so that is going to be the next step for rlda which we are already uh, we have started redevelopment of 15 colonies now we are uh, talking uh, we are working on master planning of these uh, all the colonies and the cities so that we have a integrated township for railway uh, staff railway people where all facilities are available at one place Uh, so that they don't have to uh, they, they don't don't have to use uh, like uh, uh, vehicles to go out all the things are available within that complex uh, uh, there there is a kind of self uh, sustainable development so that is going to be our uh, next step which we are already working on it uh, station as you know as we uh, 
we are thinking of Vixit Bharat. So with that kind of idea, we need Vixit stations also. So uh, we have already uh, started working on uh, 1,300 stations uh, with that idea of Vixit Bharat. And uh, these Amrit Bharat stations will provide state-of-the-art uh, facilities to the passengers and they will not only be useful for passengers but they will also be useful for the cities as they integrate integrate the different parts of the city uh, with with a, uh, and act like a bridge rather than a barrier between the cities so when we look at modernization we cannot look away uh, from computer, computational technologies and AI and Indian government has inculcated that uh, technologies into our system. So how uh, computational tech and AI has helped, incre helped in increasing the efficiency of, the, of your projects? You see technology, uh, if we uh, talk about computational technology, AI of course uh, uh, we are still at a slightly early stage but uh, so far as computational technology is concerned we are already into BIM modeling of the buildings uh, we have what uh, the uh, BIM model of all these stations 3d models uh, we are creating like a digital twin of every station uh, where we know in advance where all the services will be running uh, in the different parts of the building so that when we come back after uh, after the stations are completed to maintain them. So we can very precisely locate the services and we can preci very precisely locate the defects or faults and recti them, rectify them very fast. So uh, when we talk about this computational and AI technologies, we, uh, we say like right now it is very costlier. So do you also face that kind of uh, uh, like it is economically impacting the system uh, when we inculcate that into our projects, into your projects? I won't say it is costlier. Yeah. I would say uh, like artificial intelligence is slightly at the early stage for construction uh, industry, I would say. But uh, other uh, computational technology, of course, it's, it's not at all costly and uh, it is a uh, quite a welcome thing for uh, construction industry which we are already using and we uh, want to proliferate uh, its use so uh, any special message for the people over here in the eno metro 2024 fourth edition uh, it's, it's a very great experience i have been a regular uh, visitor to this eno metro uh, conferences and it has always been an enriching experience for me and uh, it has been very very useful interaction with the industry uh, i wish uh, the organizers all the best it's a great time here thank you thank you sir